Hi everyone, I am Arush Bukhari. I am a lead teacher of Bay Group at Chris and Montessori School, Chhatman, Lahore. I am really thankful to Ms. Amenda for giving me an opportunity to talk with you about my learning and professional development. I have been working in the different well-known schools of the city for about eight years as an early year teacher. I am immensely passionate about my job and enjoy spending my time with the young learners in a captivating, purpose-built and huge campus of Crescent School. If I talk about my school campus, the area of the place is about eight tillas. The facilities within the Montessori section includes a big auditorium, a science room, music room, a dance room, uh, a robotics room, uh, a big kitchen, two big libraries, a large bird aviary, multiple play areas, and a big large uh, ground for the sports. Uh, in our Montessori section, we have three levels, and each level has about eight to 12 sections. And each class has about 25 to 30 students in it with a class teacher, an assistant teacher, and a caretaker. As I am dealing with the youngest level, that is playgroup, I believe that learning environment is, plays an important role in the uh, development of the child's uh, interper uh, interpersonal and intrapersonal skills. In my today's video, I am going to discuss and reflect upon effective teaching and learning strategies and practices in a preschool setup. Although there are a lot of approaches towards the learning and teaching, but I am going to focus on a specific area that is creating a positive learning environment in a classroom. The most commonly used strategy in our, or the practice in my preschool setup is the collaborative learning approach, which encourages my student to develop their communication skill as well as their social skill. Um, here I want to share some beautiful words said by the Henry Ford that coming together is a beginning. Keeping together is a process and working together is a success. The first very important aspect to create a positive learning environment in the classroom is building a positive relationship through communication and interaction with the children. For the positive communication includes encouraging children to convey their thoughts, uh, what they like to do, to uh, express their feelings and their choices, what they like to do, what they do not like to do, and uh, taking the responsibility of their own learning. I promote group activities in my classroom um, to encourage the healthy class discussion and peer interaction. Sometimes I stay with the focus group and my co-teacher keep on monitoring the other groups that are engaged in the different uh, group activities. And sometimes um, me and my co-teacher has to move around the classroom to see the different groups engage in the different learning activities independently and uh, accomplish uh, completing the assigned task independently. For me, it is very important to stay connected with each and every child in my classroom because each child has some individual and unique needs. So it is very important to have some one-to-one -one interaction and one-to-one -one communication uh, because sometimes children do not like to have uh, whole class instructions or they, ju they just ignore the whole class uh, instructions. So uh, uh, for me, it's important to go uh, to each child, sit with them and spend some time to have a personal conversation in order to build a strong one-to-one -one connection and relationship. Another important factor towards uh, the collaborative learning approach is coming up with the projects or the activities students can get excited about. Here, I want to show you a few pictures of my classroom where the students are being engaged in the different learning activities uh, in, the, in the form of small groups or some large groups.
here a group of the student is playing with the ono cards and the ono cards are being made by the student themselves and they are playing with some set rules here a group of the students is painting in the mark making area and there is a group of the students who is making the shapes on the geo board here a group of the students is making a grass and uh, that's related to the phonic of the week that is g g so they are making the good green grass and they are decorating it in their own way here a group of the students is presenting their group task that is related to a story uh, the great cap of tree here a group of the students is making a big ocean a scene of a ocean related to the phonic o and the other group is in the same class the other group is making uh, any of the sea animal of their own choice and random students uh, volunteers are presenting their group task uh, or their project uh, to the uh, rest of the class being a preschool teacher promoting self efficacy is one of my biggest and hardest responsibility it is very important to make the young children realize that they can um, handle a difficult situation and they can complete a challenging task by themselves and uh, be believing in themselves that they are capable of performing a challenging task so the culture of my classroom is um, a student centered learning environment my job is to create a learning environment that is helpful for for them to feel uh, helpful for them uh, to explore their learning uh, capabilities and uh, a learning environment where the every, each and every child, child feel safe secured and happy and eager to learn from the environment i promote agency in my class setup that is the student each and every student have their own voice choice and they take they take ownership of their own learning when the students have agency the relationship between the teacher and students become a partnership and when they work in the collaboration they know that everybody else in the classroom also have their own choices so they learn where and how to uh, support each other while working in the different groups If I talk about the challenges I face while creating a positive learning environment in my classroom in terms of the collaborative learning approach the very uh, the first aspect comes in my mind is the collaboration with the parents as per the school values we want our students to be knowledgeable inquirer thinker um, caring and responsible citizens so through individual parent teacher meeting we keep in touch with the parents not only to discuss uh, their child's academic progress but also the social personal um, emotional and behavioral aspects sometimes i found it very really difficult to convince uh, the parents that it is okay if their parents if their children are making mistakes because children learn from their mistakes and it is very really difficult to convince them um that they should listen and respect the opinion of their child because this may this makes them confident learner so i believe that the partnership be between home and school provides a foundation to support the learning uh, process uh, and the cognitive development of the children so i always try to uh, to work in the collaboration with the parents to further improve this, their children's uh, progress but uh, 
another challenging aspect that I face, and normally every year I face that when I talk to the parents of a struggling child, so the parents are not willing to accept the fact that their child's needs are different from others. The second challenge uh, which I normally face is maintaining the discipline uh, while working in the different groups. Because in the preschool setup, children are supposed to rotate to the different learning corners in the classroom. So when one group switch uh, from one corner to another corner, sometimes it happens that few of the children are not willing to uh, leave that area or move to another corner. So in this situation, managing the discipline is a big challenge because when children have agency, they often forget to uh, follow the basic rules in order to uh, basic rules that are essential to maintain the discipline in the class. Another important challenge is bilingualism. When students collaborate with each other in the group activities, they are um, this, a few of them are very really proficient in the foreign language that is English, because the medium of instructions in our school is English. But there are few students uh, who can only uh, who can only communicate in their native language. So when they interact and uh, work in the small groups, so those who are not feeling comfortable in speaking in the foreign language, they choose to stay quiet and they do not participate willingly in the group discussions. So this is a big challenge which needs to be addressed on my side. In the end, I want to say that being a mother myself, I know that every parent wants the best for their children. However, the choices they make for their children have a lifelong impact on their lives. So many educational experts have concluded that the first five years of the child's life is one of the most significant times in the development and can have a long lasting impact uh, on their child's life, especially in the child's transition into the adulthood. So I hope that this has been helpful in giving you an insight into my learning and teaching strategies and practices. Thank you so much.